Okay, so I'm Emmanuel Dima from the University of Tübingen, and I'm currently the main uh, developer of the switchboard. Uh, and I will show you how to connect your um, tool to the switchboard. Um, the switchboard, as you know, has this list of tools. So if you want to see your tool here, this is what you're going to learn right now. Um, to do this, you need to have some uh, a little bit of technical knowledge. Uh, we will work with JSON files and with um, uh, Git, GitHub. So some very basic uh, Git knowledge is required. Um, okay, if we have the switchboard, let's say that we also have a tool that we want to connect to the switchboard. And I made a very simple uh, tool that has as you see, a very basic user interface that gets a, uh, a text file. And on submission, it splits it into the words that it contains. And it returns a text file with the words. Very, very simple. You can also see the code here. Do you see the code? Um, I changed the application, uh, but I'm not no. sure if the focus also changed. We only see your no, window. So your browser I window. need to change the shared uh, uh, window then. I have to switch to Sublime. Yeah, you should see it now. Yes. So this is a uh, Node uh, application using the Express framework. Um, it's probably the simplest code that can do anything on the web. Um, this is the handler for the slash splitter uh, path on the URL. Um, it gets the file which is uploading right here, and the file is split on spaces and returned as a text plane um, to the user. Very, very simple. Okay. Let's get back to the switchboard. So how do we want, how do we um, connect this? We go to the help section in the switchboard and we have here a bit of documentation, how to get our tool listed in the switchboard. And we are being sent to the switchboard's tool registry. Let's go there. And we can see here a list of steps that we have to do to add the tool to the switchboard. And now we will switch to the command line because we have to do some git uh, commands. Um, basically, we have to, um, the, the switchboard tool registry um, hosts the JSON files that describe uh, all the tools. We can see them here. Um, I already have this git repository on my machine. You can see it here. Um, so I will go into the tools folder. Uh -huh. And we'll do exactly, uh, we'll follow exactly the steps uh, which are described in the um, uh, switchboard tool repository. And the uh, first of them is to make a copy of an existing tool. Let's take just Alpino because it's the first. Uh, and we'll copy it into something which is called, let's say, splitter.json. And then we will just edit this new file using Sublime and change it so that it fits the new tool that we want to add. What is the task of this? Uh, we can say it's tokenizer. Um, a description of all these fields and what they mean is also available in the documentation. Um, you would have to go to the tool description specification. Uh, let me switch again. Right here, it's in the switchboard documentation repository. There is a tools description specification, which is now at version one. And you can find a pretty detailed documentation of what all the fields are and what the 
is their purpose. Right. Um, I don't want to um, keep us too much here. So I will not do a very good job, let's say, at filling in all the metadata, but you should. Version authentication license description. Um, the more important fields, important for the communication between the switchboard and the, um, our tool, are the languages, which describe what are the languages uh, which are accepted by our tool. It's very important because based on this information, the switchboard matches tools for the input that the user has. Um, and the languages must be expressed in uh, 639-3 encoding, so they have they must have three um, letters as identifiers. For English, it's ENG. The Lang encoding is the encoding that the tool requires and not the switchboard, so it can be different than um, this one. Um, the MIME types that we accept are text plain, and what we output is also text plain. The URL, in our case, because I'm running all the services locally, it's going to be localhost on port 3000. Um, and parameters are what the switchboard will send to the tool. Uh, we don't need a mapping, but we need an input, which is the URL of the file. Okay. So now, because I added this file, and I'm also running the switchboard locally, this is equivalent to having this new file inserted into the uh, switchboard tool repository. Um, we should go back now to the command line and try to validate our file to see if we have any, uh, if we can find any validation errors. And we run the validate tools and we can already find one problem, namely that the task for our tool must be one of these uh, enumerations. So let's pick tokenization, tokenization, I probably spelled it wrongly. Yeah, I said it's a tokenizer, but the task needs to be tokenization. Let's run it again. Data contact email must be an email, of course. Sorry to interrupt, and I cannot see the bottom of your screen. Uh, so I don't know uh, what command are you typing? Okay, this is the command. It's a, a validator all tools, which is a Python script available in the um, switchboard tool prep registry repository. Thank you. But it, this, you don't have to run this tool specifically. Any schema validation tool is uh, is okay. And there are online several different tools to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's run it again. And this time it looks like it's validated. Now we can go back to the switchboard. I will switch back to Chrome. And because switchboard also runs on local host, it's connected to the tool repository. So uh, our tool should be listed here. In the tokenization section, you can see splitter. It looks correct. 
Um, by the way, you can also put markdown data in the description and authentication. So for instance, URLs are uh, automatically transformed into proper HTML URLs. And let's try it. Maybe it works. We go to the switchboard, upload the sample TXT file. And we can see that the splitter is matched. So it's correct that the tool should be invoked when we click the start tool and we click on it, but it doesn't recognize um, the, 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 the tool does not recognize the input that is being sent from the switchboard. And in order for the tool to recognize this, we need to change it slightly. Namely, we will have to add a handler for a specific pass. I chose slash switchboard. It takes the URL as input. This is a query input and uh, downloads the file specified at that URL locally and then tokenizes it and returns to the returns it to the user. Now we can go back to the terminal and restart our node application because we changed it. And we will go back to Chrome to see if anything changed, if we try to start the tool again. And it didn't, and that's because I also need to change the URL in the tool description. So let's move back to the Sublime, to the splitter, the URL of the tool will change. go back to the terminal and restart the application and go back to Chrome and try to start the tool again. Uh, yeah, I need to re refresh the page probably. Um, um, it also takes a bit of time for the switchboard to pick up the new files Aha, uh -huh. now we can see a different problem. Protocol HTTP not supported, expand HTTPS. Uh, let's see, probably we made a mistake in the switch in the demo tool. Let's look at it more carefully. Yes, indeed, this, um, the demo tool does not require HTTPS, but HTTP, it's a minor problem that should be easily fixed. try to uh, start the tool again. And this time it works. So you see now exactly the output of our demo tool for the input which has been uploaded into the switchboard. And this is what we want basically. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say. Um, you've seen all the steps that I made. Um, the important part is the definition of the tool and making sure that the tool supports the data that is being sent from the switchboard to it so that uh, it knows what all the fields are and can correctly inter interpret them. I think we can switch to questions now if you have any. <laughs> 